Hello everyone, Russell Wright, the co-inventor of the ThemeZoom and Network Empire software system and the free SEO silo plugin that you're about to download for free below. So all you have to do is go below, and we're going to show you this right now, and download Silo Builder, the current version, and you're going to drop an email in so that we can contact you for amazing courses and other kinds of advanced training. When you arrive on the landing page, there's going to be a download the Silo Builder button, and you can just grab it and put it in whatever folder you normally put your regular WordPress plugins inside. And of course, if you're a beginner and you've never uploaded a plugin before, there's all kinds of training videos, but you can also follow us. And if this is your first time, uh, welcome to WordPress. We're actually going to show you how to do that. Now, we've set up a WordPress blog. You're going to need to learn how to do that on your own. And if you actually want to learn to set up a WordPress blog, we offer great courses. And again, you can see more information about that. So this is a test blog that we've set up called Multi-Channel University Marketing or Multi-Channel Marketing University. And this is what the, the home page of this looks like. Now you're going to go to the WordPress area inside the uh, WordPress area, which you'll get to within your login control panel. Go ahead and upload to your plugins area. You're going to click the uh, Add New function. And like any other plugin in WordPress, you're going to upload this free silo plugin. And we're going to upload it directly from Sue's desktop and probably one of her WordPress folders. There it is. Okay. And just simply click the install button and then activate the plugin. Now, it's for those of you who've never used uh, SEO silo plugins before or SEO uh, structures before in a website, now, for those of you who don't know about SEO silo architecture, it helps you rank for thousands of keywords instead of just a few with up to 90% fewer inbound links than your competition. And it's a powerful method that's taken thousands of dollars in the past and several weeks, sometimes even Sue, who is an expert uh, in the old days, would take a full day to set up a SEO silo structure and you can do it in seconds. So in this plugin, the DWS silo builder is there. And we're going to show you first the manual silo builder. This is the new feature that you only get in a lot of the paid plugins out there that are not technically correct for WordPress silo uh, infrastructure. And I got to tell you that you got to know what you're doing when building a plugin that uses SEO website silo architecture. So what Sue's going to do now is right under the home page, you simply add the top level keyword. In this case, we're pretending we're building a blog on coaching and you're selling a mentoring program. So we're actually going to cover the whole gamut of keywords without doing any research. We're just going to toss them in there. Coaching and mentoring programs will be the silo landing pages under the home page. Is that right, Sue? That's right. And you also have to click this button up here so that okay. it knows where it is you're going to do it. It's obvious on the first one. Okay. But once you've actually added a couple of pages, then you see each page that you've added, you can add more things underneath it. So I added those two directly under home. Now I'm going to add a few things right smack under coaching. And this whole system and setup that we're showing you guys is allowing Google uh, to index more quickly, but more importantly, it allows your website to reference itself in a way that's optimal for visitors and optimal for editorial, as well as being optimal for uh, meaning in, as far as search engine indexing and ranking. Okay, so what I've done is I've added two silos. We've got one silo that's coaching, one silo that's mentoring programs, then under the coaching page we've got three more pages and under the mentoring programs we've got two more pages. Now you guys would have actually added these by hand. Coaching and then under coaching now is online business coaching. Exactly and the same way that we did it, yeah. Right. And many of you will have no noticed that this is the kind of stuff that in the past you've had to use four or five different plugins to, to accomplish and now you can do it for free. Go ahead Sue. Okay. So there's a few changes that we need to make. We're going to come here to permalinks and we want to create a custom structure. This helps you reinforce your the keywords in your silo structure. So you have the category come first and then the post name. Uh, the main thing to notice here is that category post name is congruent with uh, what Sue teaches with SEO silo architecture because that category is going to be your top level silo like we started and the post name is going to be the secondary which is very very cool. Exactly. And did, I say, so, did I say that right Sue? Yep. Okay. And now we're going to go to your widgets and 
if you notice over here there's a bunch of widgets and we're going to so, get rid of all of those so the widgets on the side we're getting rid of by tossing them out yeah those of you who are new to wordpress uh just know that you can go to the appearance section under widgets and just grab anything that these are default loaded when the blog is loaded yeah you can choose what uh, goes because we use this uh, main sidebar section for part of the silo menu structure right you want to make sure that your dws advanced silo is there it doesn't mean that you can't have anything else in your sidebar but the stuff that's loaded there by default the archives you don't and need the that, categories, right? like those things are actually going to bleed your theme. So you want to get rid of that stuff. Just tell us really quickly, but when you say bleed theme, Sue, what do you mean? The purpose of a silo structure. The purpose of a silo structure is that you have similar pages linked together so that it's obvious to the search engine what those pages are about so that you rank easier for the keywords that are thematically related. Gotcha. Okay. And so what we're doing now is we're adding the menu structure? Yep. We've okay. just added the menu structure over here in the main sidebar. And so now if we go to our page, if we come back here to our blog, you can see on the home page what we have is the actual silo landing pages. Okay. And as we come in here to the first silo, you've got the pages that have to do with that silo. And as you come in here, you've got the pages that have to do with that silo. Gotcha. Hey, Sue, a lot of the times there's questions out there in a lot of the forums that uh, I'd like to ask you, such as um, the subpages uh, are not going to appear on the home page, so only the top-level silos are on the home page. Is that correct, like, that this plugin actually just creates a proper silo structure? That's correct. Just and it's pretty difficult to do that, right? Because you have to have a separate kind of menu on each level. Is yeah, that, be before we were using a combination of three or four different plugins to achieve the same effect. Right, okay. So but that is the correct answer, that this plugin uh, will give the appropriate number of links on the correct level using that widget sidebar? Yep. Oh, All right, so, awesome. so there's more, okay? We can come in here to the coaching page. We can edit this page over here on the Silo Builder settings screen. It talks to you about being able to add short codes on this screen. So there's a choice. You can either add short codes with an excerpt, without an excerpt, or short codes with an excerpt. And what the excerpt means is if you've got um, on your page or in your post, if you've got a little blurb that's about the post, like a summary, mm -hmm. then it'll actually embed that summary on the page and give you a contextual link, which is really, really cool for SEO purposes. Wow. It's also really, really cool for user purposes because somebody's reading through the page, if they enjoyed your content, they hit related content at the bottom and they have the opportunity to click through. So it actually increases user time on site and the number of pages that they read, which generally increases conversion. And I go back up one level mm -hmm. to... You can, yep, you can see, well, the, my silo landing page is actually coaching, but the next level up is online business coaching, mm -hmm. which you see right there. Now you're at the top level, okay. Okay, and then you should... Okay, so now when we come back to this page, online business coaching, that shows the pages underneath it, you can see that it shows my excerpt. Now, this looks a little bit funky, the size of the fonts, but that's all adjustable. You come down here to the styles and you can change this font size and the link color so that it all matches whatever your theme is. You can adjust it completely. Okay. All right, so that's the manual silo builder. Okay, so pretty much anybody can do that with a free version for a free download and if they want to go more advanced then they can actually obviously begin to research the power the profitability of these keywords before they actually uh, put them in and we have a function that's the silo importer and silo importer works in conjunction with our upstream service called network empire and network empire Lite and network empire pro and this is a research tool so from here you would just uh, I'll let Sue just take over from here okay well you can import your keywords what, and a, bulk, a bulk number of them, or one yep, at a time, or a yep, whole bunch of them? a whole them. bunch of them. Okay. And, um, wow. And this, I mean, you, we've got entire videos on how to use this tool. It's not difficult, but we've got a couple mm -hmm. of good videos that take you from beginning to end. Yep. And when you import your, when you set up your project, you set up your business rules, which is um, how much it costs for you to make inbound links, how much... Um, how much do you make off of a sale, all of those kinds of things so that this tool can look at the search volume and can estimate what 
your return on investment is going to be. In other words, how much it's going to cost you to actually rank for a keyword and get into the conversations in the marketplace. And it's also going to tell you, give you an idea of what your revenue stream is going to be based off of the number of searches. And what's so totally cool, you guys, is just see those green dollar bills on the right and the green flags. <laughs> Worst case scenario, just follow those and exactly. you'll bring forth the most profitable ones in there. Okay. Exactly. So, so how do we get this into the... All right. Well, I've already built out a silo structure. It's oh, not... so that thing on the left there is the entire silo structure? Yeah. So I've got um, three silos and under wow. each silo I've got several articles and we're just going to come over here to export my blueprint. And... So you build out your entire diet silo with the most profitable keywords you could find. Exactly. And everybody can study that in the members area and on our free videos on the topic. Yep. All right. So here we go. And, and all we need just, at this point. I just want to make sure that everything's marked for publishing. Okay. So we just bounce on over here to export my blueprint. And we click on the XML. And it's going to download my all of my keywords for me. Got it. Okay, we're going to come back here to the silo builder. We're going to come to the importer screen. Mm -hmm. And here we've got a couple of choices. You can set everything to draft or you can have it published right away. Now that you know what that short code is, you can either have the short code automatically embedded so that you don't have to do it one page by one page. Or if you want total control over how your pages look, you can leave that to off and insert them manually. And now I'm going to browse. I'm going to find my export that I just made. I'm going to pop it in and I'm going to say import my XML file. And that's it. Bob is your uncle. So when we go to the home page, the entire blueprint of your WordPress silo architecture that you built in Network Empire Lite is completely there. Yep, I've got that's my crazy. three new silos and if I go under weight loss, I've got Wow, with the most appropriate keywords. And later on, I can go in and add content. I can add the appropriate call to action or the sales headlines if I want with those keywords in there and the title tags. Exactly. Uh, so I adjust the content for conversion and persuasion uh, as soon as this is done. But this has saved me literally, jeez. I mean, this would have saved me personally because I'm kind of slow at this, like about two days. Exactly. This is huge. Got it. All right. All right. That's, that's excellent. So those of you who are ready for it, go ahead and scroll down at the bottom of the sales page or visit siloblogbuilder.com and download the free plugin. And of course, if you're interested in the upgraded services, we have several locations where you can learn more about it. Visit networkempire.com or also inside this plugin, we give you a nice link to visit an area where we talk about that on the right-hand side. You can visit and learn more about what's available. And for those of you who just want to use the free aspect of the silo plugin, please enjoy. This is Russell Wright and Sue Bell from Network Empire and themezoom.com signing off. Oh! <laughs>